ye counted all as loss in order to know Christ and to have a share in his suffering, conforming himself to his death. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr saint place and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. King Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, since that was the greatest of the high places. He offered a thousand holocausts on that altar. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared in a dream to Solomon during the night. God said, Ask what you would like me to give you. Solomon replied, You showed great kindness to your servant David, my father, when he lived his life before you in faithfulness and justice and integrity of heart. You continued this great kindness to him by allowing a son of his to sit on his throne today. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in succession to David my father. But I am a very young man, unskilled in leadership. Your servant finds himself in the midst of this people of yours that you have chosen, a people so many its number cannot be counted or reckoned. Give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil. For who could govern this people of yours that is so great? It pleased the Lord that Solomon should have asked for this. Since you have asked for this, the Lord said, and not asked for long life for yourself, or riches, or the lives of your enemies, but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself. Here and now, I do what you ask. I give you a heart wise and shrewd, as none before you has had, and none will have after you. What you have not asked, I shall give you too, such riches and glory as no other king ever had. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your decrees. Lord, teach me your decrees. How shall the young remain sinless by obeying your word? I have sought with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your decrees. I treasure your promise in my heart as I sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your decrees. With my tongue I have recounted the decrees of your lips. I rejoice to do your will, as though all riches were mine. Lord, teach me your decrees. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Ma. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place or by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going, and many could guess where. And from every time, every town, they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd. And he took pity on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set himself to teach them at some length. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her, and care for her. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayer of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.